now I have capacity and I want to invest in the well-being aspect. What should I do I, as a manager step by step in order to start bringing it to the workplace? Yeah, so as a manager, I think there's things we can do that are simple and don't cost anything, you know, things like just facilitating you know, maybe finding someone on your team who does yoga and just being like, yeah, we're going to have like a yoga class, you know, the first Wednesday of every month on zoom or in person, if you're on site, um, you, you can do, um, you know, some of our clients do challenges, right. Mm. Where the, it, it, and this is like so basic, right. It's like an Excel spreadsheet and they're like, okay, we're going to do like a hydration challenge in January and then maybe a steps challenge, but just kind of pushing different initiatives. Because what we've seen is like employees are going to engage with different types of wellness uh, based on what resonates with them. So some people may be totally into a hydration challenge, whereas some people may be into like, yeah, I'm going to try to get on the treadmill every day, whether it's walking or running and just move. Um, and some of them are going to be into mindfulness, um, but there really isn't like a one size fits all solution when it comes to well-being. We really have to make sure as leaders that we're bringing something in that can meet employees where they're at with the type of resource that they need. So it, it's really hard to improve every aspect of your life simultaneously. You can't really do it. <laughs> so uh, everyone to focus. Has to focus. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Everyone has some sort of focus. So somebody may be really focusing on their finances right now and their financial well-being. And then maybe they get that under control over a couple of months and then they're going to move into like improving their mental health or improving their physical health, or maybe they're focused on their diet. Um, so when you're looking at well-being and wellness, we really have to kind of zoom out and look at all of the pieces and then make sure we're incorporating all of those pieces in our wellness strategy. And so, I mean, that's what our platform does. Um, you know, we've got these six different dimensions of employee well-being that we address. Um, but even if you're not implementing a tool like ours and you're going totally grassroots and you just don't have budget for that, um, you can just build those initiatives in-house. Um, just make sure you're hitting all of those categories so that you're capturing all of your employee base.